In our previous video of this series, we created all the controller and all the routes which we required for our admin dashboard, right? And we also created all the view file inside of our resource view admin folder. And inside of the admin folder, we create card folder. Inside of the card folder, we have history.blade.php. In category, we have create manage. In discount, we have create manage and so on. So today's duty is pretty simple. All you have to do is we have to create all this method or function inside of the controllers. Okay. Then load each of these view file inside of each of these routes. Okay. Pretty simple job. So let's do it first. Okay. So for doing so, if I go to admin.blade.psp, you will see that this four line of code actually help us to load any page inside of our admin dashboard template and this one right so if i just copy these four lines of code and go inside of each of the view file which we created for our admin dashboard in our previous video and paste them there like this and change the name like setting okay setting page copy this one again save it here go to subcategory folder then paste it here like uh, create subcategory page then go to manage.blade.php and type here manage subcategory page then go to product attribute manage product attribute then paste it create product attribute manage product then manage product review okay then inside of the payment manage payment then add new payment method and this one order history base then manage user base okay manage story store base create discount base then manage discount base so what i did just simply go inside of each of the view file which we created in our previous video for our admin and dashboard and then just extend our admins layout there and add the section of admin layout there so whenever we load those view file into any route that we load along with and uh, these layouts okay this admins layout so do this job it's very simple to do i know all you can do it very simple okay next job is pretty simple we go to our web.php route file again and now opening each of these uh, controller file and then i will create each of this method or function inside of the controller file okay so in admin main controller i have to create one two three four five new method uh, for setting manage user manage stores card history and order history okay so i already have one for our uh, this route dashboard and that is index method so i just copy that one for once and paste it five times three four five 
and change the name respectively first one going to be setting and then second one going to be manage user and third going to be manage store okay and then fourth going to be card history and fifth going to be water history for now i will just load our uh, responsible view file for each of these pages later we will maybe load all the setting information uh, from database to here and compact them manage user information and compact them there here and there okay but for now let's just uh, load the view okay uh, for setting we already have the settings file inside of the admin folder for manage user uh, let me check in our resource view admin we have manage and inside of that we have user so for manage user inside of the admin folder we have the manage folder and inside of the manage folder we have the user folder user file sorry so just load that here for manage store same inside of the admin folder we have the manage folder and inside of the manage folder we have the store.blade.php so just load that here for card history um, we have to go inside of the admin folder then there we have the card folder and inside of the card folder we have the history.blade.php okay next one for water history we have admin folder then the water folder then instead of the water folder we have the history.blade.php all right so if i just right now uh, for checking load one of this route you will be able to see that it's loading perfectly so admin then uh, slash water slash history you can see water history page here perfect that means every of this space loading perfectly all right next next uh, we have to go inside of the category controller page our file and here we need to create two different method one is index another is manage okay let me create public function index right and then inside of this i have to uh, load our view file return on view inside of the admin folder we have the category folder and there we have the create view.php right so yeah that should be it now let me check this route if it working or not admin slash category slash create okay it's loading empty file or giving error okay loading empty file so yeah let me go inside of this view file okay i did not paste the thing which we paste in other space so just copy this thing and go to category create and yeah give here create category paste then manage category paste i left them right i left them okay and other should be okay let me check one of them yes other should be okay now if i just go back to there again let me show you now it's loading perfectly create category paste right similarly i just going to copy this one and another function i will need here that is manage and this one going to return uh, instead of the admin folder we have category folder and there i have manage.blade.php it should return there 
so if i go here and type category slash menace i can see here menace category base perfect next one next inside of the subcategory controller file i have to create two subcategory controller function public function index and it should also return a view of which is what instead of the admin folder we have the subcategory folder and there we have the create category folder file i think so if not if i go to admin folder and yeah yeah sub category sub category and there we have the create.play.psc right similarly just copy paste it once and there another one going to be for managing subcategory and this one should load from manage.play.php now if i check one of this route it should work perfectly this is how it going to be easy for you if you organized everything perfectly give the proper name of each of your route give the proper name of your uh, folder you don't need to remember anything you just I need to type the exact name and it will work smoothly okay next next i have to open our product controller model nice and inside of this product controller i have to create two of the function as well public function index and it's going to return the view which is inside of the admin folder product folder and then we should have the create dot play dot psp right or what let me check admin folder then product folder we have manage dot play dot psp okay okay fast let me check here in product we have the indexed out which is responsible for product manage okay then it should be manage.play.php fine then next one next one is for uh, review manage okay review manage admin dot product dot manage product review okay manage product review nice if i want to check any of this route just copy this one and after admin paste yeah manage product review paste nice next we have um, product attribute controller model okay the stop in it and inside of this we will have two more uh, method public function what index and there we go inside of this we will have um, product attribute create file right so return view instead of the admin folder we have product what product attribute folder then we have the create file create.play.php nice and then next one for managing our product attribute manage and this should be also manage right nice next next we have product discount controller so open it there we also have create and manage okay public function index this one responsible for creating the discount so return view 
inside of the admin folder we have the discount folder and there we have the create.blade.php i believe so yeah and then just another one you should be responsible for managing our discount instead of the admin folder discount folder we have the manage.blade.php file okay that should be it if i want to check and have this route let me check one of them admin slash discount slash manage and you can see manage discount page okay awesome now one thing you can see uh, here title remain same for every page bank page then admin kit demo we don't want that right whenever we go to any page we want that page name there right simply we want that so if i want to do so what i have to do i have to go inside of my admin folder then layouts folder then layout.blade.php and here we go this is responsible for the title right we want to yield this section as well okay and the admin base title we want to change this like that now if i go to dashboard.blade.php not dashboard instead of the admin admin.blade.php we i have to do one thing i have to start here a section okay and here i have to give it a name admin base title and i have to in the section okay and inside of this i will give the name of my page and there should be um, dashboard let me check admin slash dashboard and you can see dashboard admin panel and for all of the different ways i have to do the same thing just copy this one go to settings.blade.php paste it and the settings save it go to um, subcategory manage paste it uh, manage sub category okay similarly do in every of this space uh, create sub category if i just check any of this space again right now uh, category sub category create sub category let me show you one okay so that you will understand that it working admin slash sub category slash create you will see here title change create sub category admin panel okay and by following the same thing a uh, change uh, name for or title for all of this space okay in our next video what we will do we will work on this site uh, sidebar uh, links okay we will organize them create them perfectly and make them working as well okay thank you so much for watching take care bye bye